Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from Cinema Sound. Today we're going to be looking at how to do multiple microphones, multiple inputs for your streaming, um, and how to plug that into your audio interface using the Soundcraft UI24R, which is an amazing box. You can use the 16, you can use any of them, or the 8, but uh, today, because I happen to have a 24. Uh, also, I'm on the uh, Stereomonic Lav Micro DI, which is going lightning into my iPhone right now. It's this thing here. All right, let's see what's going on here and how to get lots of inputs into your stream on Facebook or YouTube. All right, I've got this big mess of stuff here. This is the UI24R. This is an iPad. And what's cool about the iPad with the um, UI24 is that, and, and any of them, is that it connects directly to the UI24. Now you can use Wi-Fi, but I've found that it's actually much better if you use this cool little plug that I've got here. It's got RJ45 out, it's got lightning port in if you want to charge. It's also got USB for your sticks and it just comes out lightning straight out of here and plugs directly into the back of, well the side really, of the UI24, which is amazing and makes really quick work of any kind of sliding or anything you need to go. I mean, there's a lot of channels here. So uh, this is my interface, uh, or rather my physical user interface. And then what I have here is the Zoom F8, but I'm going to use this as an audio interface. Just about every Zoom product can be used as an audio interface, which is super dope. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing I want to do is be able to get my computer audio, which either comes out of a three and a half inch jack, if you dare, or it's going to come out of your audio interface, right? So if I'm using this USB as an audio interface, I'm going to have the computer audio, stereo, or whatever come into this, but I'm not going to have it come in on one and two. I'm not going to have it come in on seven and eight or any other channels. Why? Well, because when this goes back into the computer, because it's an audio interface coming to and from the computer, when I use a streaming program, like OBS or any of those other ones, it's only going to want to listen to these two inputs right here, which is you know input, kind of uh, difficult to deal with it unless you have the ability to go your computer out. So your com computer out is going to go to two different channels. It's not going to go to one and two. It's going to go out seven and eight. Once it comes out seven and eight, I actually take the master output of my interface, the left and right mix, and I send that out into channel one and two of the UI24. And that's, you can see here, is where it's showing up. I've got it panned left and right, yay. And then any other microphones that I'm gonna use, like maybe the lab or the shotgun that I'm using or anything else that I'm demoing, we're gonna plug into the rest of these microphone inputs. So it's all gonna get mixed here in the UI24R. So you can see here, here's me, and I got mic one, two, and three. I got all kinds of other things that I can use to basically mix in the UI 24R. Now this output from here, left and right, master output, goes in to my interface on one and two. Now that is where the OBS or streaming software, that's all it wants to hear. Now I don't send these outputs back out the master out, otherwise I'm gonna get an awesome feedback loop. I turn the output of these off and only send these as an input. So again, you've got the computers coming out of the interface on seven and eight, you're sending your audio out of Adobe Audition or Logic, your master output is not going out one and two, it's going out seven and eight. That master output is going into one and two on the UI24. All the rest of your microphones are coming into the UI24R. You're doing your mixing, you know, you're doing your EQ and, and compression, gating, whatever you want to do in the UI24R, you know, phantom power, all that. This master is going to come out which includes the computer and all your microphones. And that's going to go into one and two on your interface. Again, this is an F8 for now. This then goes to your OBS or whatever streaming software. Now you have an unlimited amount of inputs and your computer all going through one interface and one mixer. Otherwise, it's, you can't, you know, because OBS and all those other programs only want to see what's coming on the one and two. So you can't plug multiple microphones into your interface and expect it to work. It won't work. And get the computer audio as well. You have to do this kind of weird jerry-riggy thing to get it to go. But the UI24, the UI8, the, tw uh, the, the 16, all of it work great to do that and give you all kinds of latitude 
for managing the preamps, the compression, the gate. Also, you can add reverbs into this. I mean, look at that great EQ that you can just do on board with the UI24. You know, you know, make your lab or your shotgun sound great. Run it back into the computer, and OBS will see those first two channels, and you're good to go. So I know it's a little wonky, but you know, doing streaming with a lot of microphones is wonky, or a lot of audio inputs. I mean, you know, streaming. Most people just say, "Oh, I want a speaking lab or something," and that's all. But if you want to do your computer audio, multiple microphones, and all kinds of other things then you got to do something special and the soundcraft mixers and any of your audio interfaces that are usb or whatever are a great pair hopefully this video has been helpful to you you like my jimbe in the back super cool and my picture of the star trek um enterprise d nice uh just moved so that's why this room is barren um hopefully this video has been uh helpful to you if so please subscribe to us here on the cinema sound channel and come visit us at cinemasound.com where we have hundreds and hundreds of blog posts, videos, and, uh, and an 85-hour education, the only kind of its kind, to take you from, hey, I'm like a photographer, I don't know how anything works in audio, all the way to Hollywood-level delivery uh, and in post and surround and better. Hopefully, we will see you there. If not, we'll see you in the streaming bay. Even if you're